All right, so on left hand side, we have MacBook Pro 15 inch. That's an i7 2.2 gigahertz processor. Um, and it has a 16 gig of uh, DDR4 RAM. On the right hand side, this is the latest uh, quite anticipated Apple M1 3.2 gigahertz M1 chip MacBook Air and this is almost half the RAM as compared to the left hand side um, so let's uh, we're gonna do the Geekbench reviews and the app we are using is a Geekbench 5 um, so I'm gonna run the benchmark on this one it again show the configuration here it does show the configuration here we were sort of blown away with Apple Silicon uh, but the architecture here is the Apple Silicon and on this side is an Intel so I'm gonna start the benchmark here and benchmark here at the same time it doesn't matter but this would also give you kind of an idea of how fast this machine is in terms of running application so we're doing the first round with the Geekbench review uh, and in the next video we will do the application side-by-side -side performance review and the third review we would be doing is about the uh, neural engine showing you some artificial intelligence apps in terms of how they run side to side on these machines. So let's get going. I've kind of clicked pretty, pretty much both of them almost at the same time, maybe a tad difference here and there. Um, so I'm not that familiar with the Geekbench, uh, pretty much every aspect of the test it does, uh, but this seems to be quite a credible test which, uh, which gives uh, quite deep insights about the machines. Uh, we are seeing some problems with the ARM processor like we have to invoke Rosetta and not every app just works. Uh, I think there is sort of an ramp up, um, you have to kind of learn to run apps which are not sort of ARM processor supported and are internal only as of yet. Pretty much most of the vendors are coming up with their Apple Silicon specific apps. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how this market grew. But I think so far we're just blown away with the performance. We are lo loving the slim profile. We are learning, loving the resolution and the great aspects here. Um, so, so far, as you may see, I think it's not like <clears throat> looking any different on on both the sides um, basically the time to run pretty much similar and then boom it just finishes up in a crazy <laughs> record time on the on the m1 and let this one finish and you'll be blown away to kind of see this results um, i was like amazed uh, in terms of performance results there um, and this is the beginning, and if this is a beginning, it's just going to be crazy um, to see this um, on, on how this evolves with time. So as you may see, like the fan has kicked in. I don't, you may not be able to hear it, but um, now this is going, kind of going little beyond um, so this is crazy as you may see side by side um, <clears throat> the left side is the 962 single core score and the multi core is 5069 this guy has six cores um, and the single core score here is almost double right and this is this is just crazy uh, so let's look at some of the other results here um, and I'm going to be uploading them through my ID Aki Mehra if you would like to kind of see them offline 
feel free to th- see them i think they'll be probably published uh, <clears throat> so it does again show the topology like one processor six cores and 12 threads on this inside it's like one processor and eight cores they call it like four major cores and four minor cores or high performance and low performance um, or high efficiency and then and then it basically reduced the power for for really non-critical applications <clears throat> uh, you can see the L1 scores here um, the L1 instruction cache is 32 KB here. This one is 128 K. L1 data cache is 64. This one is 32, almost half. And L2 cache is 4 MB. And this guy is uh, 256 K mm-hmm. times 6. Mm-hmm. Uh, so memory is double on the left hand side. And in this case, it's like half the memory. Mm-hmm. And here are the single core performance numbers. <clears throat> As you may see, kind of it literally blows this uh, big machine <laughs> out of the water um, on on every possible score. Uh, I don't understand the majority of the scores, but the single core and the multi core overall scores are quite significant, which is of interest. Crypto score, integer score, and floating point score. Um, as you may see. The right hand side is almost more than double in some some areas right and uh, let's look at these scores and as you may see overall pretty much every score is either 1.5 times or two times or almost 2.5 times in in some areas um, I think some of the interesting scores would be if you're going to run the latest applications, they're all pretty much HTML5. And if you see the HTML5 score is like almost twice. Uh, let's look at some of the other interesting scores. <clears throat> um, HDR, if you kind of deal with image processing and uh, kind of applications, uh, which is uh, dealing with uh, photo editing. Uh, I, I think this score is uh, something which may be of interest to you and M1 chip or Apple Silicon is quite fast in, in every aspect. Um, interestingly, machine learning is 143 and this is 1159. I don't know how how accurate Geekbench is. Uh, on this particular score, I mean, I'm from that background and based on the architecture this chip has, I think this is just insanely crazy in terms of specifications there and I'm like, this this doesn't seem right to me. Uh, I think this, this is going to be uh, probably way far more and I'm going to do the AI test and we'll, we'll see it, how this pans out. So let's look at the multi-core performance. Um, as you may see, it's just, it's just insanely crazy. On, on on every other score out here um, let's look at the HTML5 one more time uh, I, I think almost is, is either 1.5 times to 2 times or twice on, on majority of the scores right uh, so I'll just skip through them because we have seen the single cores and the multi cores are um, in, in, in some aspects quite high HDR not significantly high on on multi-core configuration is 10,000 versus 12,000 <clears throat> okay so if you're into gaming it seems like ray tracing is a popular or um, rather useful metrics to kind of look into and it's again almost uh, double in terms of score all right so so, so we have seen this uh, CPU scores. Let me just capture them with the ID here, Aki Mehra. And uh, I think you will be able to see them later. Um, so let me just store them. And 
let's go to the other metrics now so the next one is a compute so in this case you have a bunch of options like compute devices m1 and in this case you have metal and open c1 so let's let's run both of them i do not know if these are kind of related but i have like two, two two gpu devices on the left hand side there is an onboard intel uhd graphics card and then there is a radeon pro so let's go with the metal in this case if you choose metal it only kind of gives you um so so let's go with the amd first because that's the key gpu here and let's just hit them together one two three go <clears throat> um we're just showing you the the test real time and not trying to kind of cut corners here um and we kind of just go fast forward them later um i could just see right off the bat m1 chip is just going insanely crazy in terms of completion of the test um yeah i think it's just going to finish it quite fast um So yeah, I mean, it's 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 kind of crazy. Um, so we have the scores already produced here. The MacBook Pro, surprisingly, this is the really top end machine at the time I purchased. Um, and okay, so this is seventeen thousand seven one zero. And this is 19,167. The scores are again. Um, let's let's jump into the performance scores side by side. Um, I, I think they're they're quite comparable. Uh, uh, in this particular case, the MacBook Pro is actually leading in, in quite aspects like pretty much Sobel, Canny, uh, stereo matching. Uh, until these three scores, MacBook Pro is winning, and histogram equalization, the Apple Silicon is winning, Gaussian blur, depth of field, uh, face detection. Well, Gaussian blur and depth of fields again, MacBook Pro is winning, and uh, M1 is lacking. Uh, yeah yeah and then face detection silicon is winning macbook pro is behind horizontal detection um again silicon is winning feature matching uh again silicon is winning a massive account uh, particle physics um the macbook pro is winning with quite a high number and the last one is SFFT which um, Apple M1 is winning so let's rerun this test <coughs> excuse me with OpenCL so I'm gonna rerun this test with, with the OpenCL we're gonna rerun the test with the OpenCL and the silicon and the radiant to have side by side comparison there. So let's hit them. And it's gonna take again roughly about a minute to two minutes. Um so far we're just loving the profile, you know. Um if you're used to MacBook Pro and if you switch to Air and not the MacBook Pro because the value add of MacBook Pro might uh, diminish with the same processors in both the devices. Uh, you don't have this touch bar on this machine. Interestingly, we don't see the keyboard light buttons here. <coughs> um, 
like the one you can control through the upper keys so you have to actually go at just the key brightness from there but anyways let's look into this uh, with the OpenCL scores real quick um, and again I think for very very much comparable numbers like to the last uh, metal numbers um, pretty much in all the categories the prior test was winning it is indeed a very similar reflection here the MacBook Pro is kind of leading for majority of the spectrum here um, yeah so kind of quite 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 a comparable study here so we're just flashing the numbers one more time if you would like to kind of pause and see at your end oh, please feel free to I'm just gonna run one more test here because I have a Intel uh, UHD just for the OpenCL which is again not an apple to apple there but let me just run it so that uh, you have this <coughs> excuse me metrics in comparison to see uh, how much of the onboard card kind of help and um, contribute towards this performance numbers so let's uh, let's let's have it run and we'll quickly check these numbers too in the meantime I'll just go so I think this would just pretty much conclude our test uh, I think there's a disk test which is left um, I'll, I'll probably run that and maybe add it in the next video I don't know if that's really an important factor here, but uh, pretty much on the compute side and the graphics side, uh, we have done majority of the tests here and, and the numbers are quite staggering for MacBook Pro at the price that's offered. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty insane. So OpenCL score, I think it'll be just a test between these two devices I mean yeah I mean you're not expecting this to kind of really perform in contrast to a proper graphics processor but um, just to kind of show these numbers uh, I don't think this is like even an Apple to Apple but this is uh, something which is definitely contributing to the overall performance so something you may want to keep in mind that this has uh, now this machine has additional cores um, for graphic processing uh, which is kind of part of the M1 design and uh, the machine learning engine I think that's the score I'll probably do another test which where I would take you through some real machine learning applications side by side to kind of give you an empathy of uh, uh, how these devices are performing but long story short uh, M1 chip is just insanely crazy in terms of performance. Um, I have uploaded the scores. I don't know if, if there is an opportunity or option to even query these by these IDs, but uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure there are many other people who are uploading the scores and they're very similar. But looking at the price of Intel i7 um, and the M1 chip overall price for this device, I mean, this is insanely crazy. This is insanely crazy. Um, so I hope this has uh, helped give some more, another level of assertion to the scores you may be seeing online. This is a real live side-by-side -side test. Uh, so, 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 so that's pretty much it. We'll do two more videos on the performance and uh, we'll keep you updated on this. Thank you for watching.